So growing up when I was in high school, I never was brainwashed to believe that white supremacy was a major threat in America. But once I got into college is when I started believing that because I started becoming indoctrinated with these ideologies that have no data to prove it. White supremacy is not a major threat in America and neither is racism. We're actually really blessed to live in a country that has many different cultures living amongst each other and getting along. No other country in the world exists like this. Now, I've never met a white supremacist. I don't know anybody who's met a white supremacist. In fact, I've never even met somebody who's racist, who's publicly racist. White supremacy is not a major threat in America. It's just a narrative that the mainstream media continues to push in order to get you emotional so that you can vote Democrat. It's brainwashing. I used to be brainwashed. I was on that side of the political aisle. I believed that white supremacy was a big threat. It's not. There's no KKK members hunting people down. Black people aren't stuck in their houses. White supremacy is just a brainwashing ideology to keep you emotional enough so that you vote a certain way. Life is so much better not hating yourself for being white, not having white guilt. We're over that. I thought we were over judging each other based on the color of our skin. If you are white, it is okay to be white. If you are black, it is okay to be black. There's no data that proves that white supremacy is a major threat in America, that racism is a major threat in America, or that police brutality is a major threat in America. The media purposely cherry pick cases, only cases that involve a black individual and a cop, specifically a white cop, and they air that case on the media over and over again to brainwash you to think that cops are disproportionately targeting black people. They aren't. Roland Fryer, a black man, did a study on this because no one ever did a study on this before and he was surprised that the results came back that actually more white people get shot and killed by police each year than black people. The study also showed that cops are less likely to draw their gun on a black person than a white person. Do you ever hear white people getting shot and killed by cops on the news? No, it's all part of the agenda. It's all part of the narrative. The media is very powerful to brainwash you to get you to vote a certain way. They purposely leave out all the details of these shootings. They prop these shootings up on the news to manipulate you. Cops are not hunting black people. White supremacy is not a major problem in America. Racism is not a major problem in America. That's all brainwashing and once you realize this, you stop walking around society judging people based on the color of their skin. We're over that. Get over that. You're part of the problem. While the rest of us get along and care about each other's content of character, not each other's skin color. But guess whose content of character is wrong? It's the people who judge people based on their skin color. It's the white people who hate themselves because they were born white. It's the white people who hate other white people just because they're white. Those are the people who are divisive. Those are the people who are regressive. They're brainwashed. They are indoctrinated by the mainstream media. I was that person. I was a white liberal where I hated myself because I was born white. I was just brainwashed. I broke my brainwashing because I chose to look into the research of all this and to prove to myself whether it's actually true or not. And I discovered it's not true, there's no data to support it, and I was brainwashed. That is it.